After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I think the first person to do something like this, I don't think anybody's else is crazy enough to do it. I, I mean, this is new territory. Listen, I've done every drug you can think of, and I have never been affected like this by anything. What's going on, man? Uh, bro, I drank um, a month's worth of coffee in a day. So I don't know what's going on. What they arrest you for? The police arrested me for trespassing and petty larceny. And then they locked me in a cell by myself for 30 days. Justin was in a side cell when I came in this morning, and we wouldn't put another individual in there with him, and immediately Justin wanted to get into a fight with him. I take him out. It, it seemed to me like he was on drugs, but uh, talking to him, it seems like he's spent the last 40 days in the Henderson jail, just got transported over here, so I highly doubt he's on drugs. He, he told me he drank uh, 40 days' worth of instant coffee. He's been saving up the whole time he was in jail. Seems pretty, pretty hyper. So uh, we're going to put him in the, the restraint chair, let him cool down, and... Maybe the doctor and the psych nurse talk to him. I'm making history here. You guys are watching history. <laughs> I drank a month's worth of coffee in a day. A month? No, not that. No. Cheers. No. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, can I have some? <laughs> you don't need any more coffee, Justin. I need some. I mean, I'm going to come down. I don't know what the come down's going to be, but I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. It ain't going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, everybody always complains about the police. The only people that complain about the police are the criminals and the criminals' families. <laughs> right? 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 Yeah. Justin's done nearly his two hours in the chair. We're going to take him down to release inside, throw him in a cell by himself, let him cool down in there, maybe burn off some of this energy he got from drinking all that coffee. Hey, can I have a soup? Yeah, but breakfast is coming real soon, or dinner. Oh, okay. Lunch time. I hear that train coming. It's rolling around again. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. Little Johnny Cash? I don't know when. Stuck in CCDC. Where time keeps dragging a lot. I hang my head and cry. Wait, quote the vulture nevermore. Back, back vulture, off my cell door. Did we ever have anybody else in town who got 2186s? We have a sheet. 21 trespasses in North Vegas. Okay, calm down. Listen. My call sign is blackjack. Listen, Justin, we're gonna take you out of this chair. Okay. We're gonna put you in this cell. Okay. Don't start kicking or banging in there, because there are only other options to put you back in this chair. Okay? I will not start kicking and banging. I think I might be coming around. They asked me what branch of the military is served in. The tweaker paramilitary. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, all the way into the wall. Hey, I did my two hours well, right? Try to sleep it off. I don't think you're going to sleep for a couple days, but try to sleep it off. 45 days worth of instant coffee. What shot? All I need is one shot of coffee. One drink, one drink, coffee. How are you feeling? Uh, well, I... Coffee wore off a little bit? Yeah, you know, I don't believe I'm under the influence of the coffee anymore. You know, I'm just going to stay away from the Colombian horse. Yeah. I do methamphetamine on a daily basis. I, I, I go through an eight ball a day. When's so, the last time you did meth? Meth? Whoa, whoa, 30 days ago. I've been in Henderson, remember? 30 days. Right. But I know one thing's for sure, two things for sure. I can't handle coffee. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, I can handle the crystal meth. Because if you say I, so. No, listen to me. I'm always on crystal meth. No one's ever seen me sober. The Blue Mule, the Blue Mule Saloon, they kicked me out because my girlfriend, Angel, tried to have me killed. The Blue Mule's like, no, you're out of here, you no good tweaker. They're like, 
You're cool when you're sober. I'm like, whoa, cool when I'm sober. You've never seen me sober. You gotta stop using that meth, man. Oh, no, I don't. Stop, I gotta the stop the coffee. That coffee. Stop drinking no, no, the coffee. No, no. Stop I gotta the stop meth. Stop drinking the coffee. The meth's fine. Stay out of jail. I don't know what the coffee's done. Okay, but the meth's right. fine. The meth I can handle. I do my meth and I go to my slot machine. Okay, I do my coffee and I'm cracking. Well, stay off that coffee then, Justin. No, stay off stay the in coffee. here and we'll, uh, we'll let you calm down a little more. Justin, lay off the coffee. I'm not gonna buy no more coffee. No. Anyone would think he's probably high on some illegal drugs, but I confirmed it. He was in the Henderson jail for the last 30 days, so he really is just high on coffee. We'll reevaluate him a little later today. Back to stranger than fiction. I'm really just high on coffee. Blue or red? No. Only uh, that camel orange color. Oh. Whatever you want to call it. Camel orange. Hey, you want to know where your car went? North Las Vegas. Are you really going to drop me right here? It went to North Las Vegas. It's just a car. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you get tickets to the fight? Well, you said you lost those tickets or something stolen from you. Well, that's from a long time ago. It's, uh, I just bought a, uh, 2015, one of two Toyota Prius. $48,000, one off. Sign for your watch and stuff, sir. Wow, that's expensive, Toyota Prius. Well, they're not cheap, but they're pretty badass. Right, yeah. Um, where? I mean, you went from a Prius to a Corvette Stingray. That's a I did deal. not go from anything. My Prius is still my Prius. OK. You know, and I still have my Corvette. They're just cars. We're going to see the nurse. Boy. We good, sir, oh, for to see fine. the nurse? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, Richard, let's Thank go see God. the nurse today, okay, sir. Right. Have a seat in the blue chair, sir. Along with the right beautiful here. duct tape? Yes, sir. So one misdemeanor charge you're being charged with is going to be active physical control of your Corvette while under the influence of controlled substances, oh, well. which cause you to drive reckless in the mall. And the reason that would be is the man that called in yeah. that you almost ran over when you were doing the donuts in the parking lot, he called and complained about you. I know. That's why you're getting charged with DUI. It's not going to be a DUI. I won't get a DUI. Oh. All right. Wait a step for me. Walk out this way. You're going to come right over here. And right where the number two is, have a seat right there. Just wait for the nurse. She'll be just a few minutes. Numero dos. Hey, Officer Lathrop, how are you doing? What's going on with Richard today? We got a call today over at the uh, Boulevard Mall of a gentleman in a white Corvette doing donuts in the parking lot. He almost ran up a pedestrian over. Oh. I went over and uh, met up with Richard. Told me he was really upset. He was at the casino last night uh, with some uh, friends that he met doing some uh, cocaine, and uh, they robbed him. He actually had four floor seats, and these people uh, gave him drugs, helped him get high, and then stole, stole these stuff. floor seats. Subsequently, we ended up arresting him for uh, DUI and reckless driving. Hopefully he's gonna be cooperative for you up here, but uh, there's a few distractions in the jail that are kind of causing them issues. Yeah, we're pretty full today. I'm a criminal, they're cops. I run, they chase. Well then stop being a criminal. Why? Well then keep getting chased. <laughs> Figure it out, it's SOS. <laughs> What's it mean? Same old all the time. No, SOS. stuck on stupid. Definition of insanity is doing the same over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... I got kids that don't know I do drugs. I got houses that pay for themselves and they pay for my kids. So, the only thing I missed out... Why are you proud of that? Why are you proud of your kids not knowing you do drugs? What's to be proud of that? You shouldn't do... You shouldn't know. You shouldn't do drugs! Yeah, you should. Oh. <laughs> I'm one of those people. You have no idea. idea. Yeah, you're one of those. Time. And do they do drugs? Not that I know. Not that you know. Why do you not know? Because you're too busy in here? I'm not always in here, bro. It sounded like you just said you were. Stop being so stupid. Gosh, dude, you're just yell, stupid. Bro. I'm right here. Because I'm passionate, because I've lost my family for 31 years married. And you're an idiot. Mr. Richard. Yes. Richard, you're gonna have to calm that down. You, I'm sorry, I just got it. out here, I, I'm gonna I, need you to tone it down. Okay, I'll shut up. Use your inside voice I, to calm down. You understand what I'm saying? 
I understand you had a bad hit. I have some. Don't talk to me, please. Don't talk to me. Listen for your name when they call you. You're going to go to their office. Call body. What are you here for? If you've never been in trouble and this is your first DUI, they'll probably give you what's called an OR. They're going to let you out of here on your own. So hopefully you'll get to see the fight tonight. Well, I don't, you, you don't have tickets, right? I heard you had tickets. I did. But now you don't. I, you don't need it's, to tell me a story. Matter. That's OK. It's yeah, okay. It doesn't. I, I don't really need to tell a story. That's fine. Because God hasn't let me down yet. OK. I don't. So I'll get it. All right. Come on this way. OK. We'll get you straightened out here. This is open book, and this will be the next phase, OK? <coughs> Someone from the court will talk to you, and that person from the court, someone is probably going to get the details to get you out of here. I'll get to it. OK. You know, it's all good. Well, uh, good luck. I don't need I, luck, but thanks. OK, just go, so, then. No luck for you. Go. Go. Okay, just run. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Away with you. That's a unique individual there. Hopefully, you get to know our. So we'll see how it goes. It'll be based on his charges. Alright, well medical will see you in just a minute, so you can just have him check your head, alright? Yes, sir. You have a lot of time. Yes, sir. Come here. No, no, We're here and see medical. Alright. Look at my head. Which part? Which part? This part? I don't know. <gasps> yeah, they hit me with something, dude. They hit me. They're doing something to me while I was passed out. Oh, okay. Is anybody else with you? No, sir. I don't know anybody, sir. There's one guy I'm at here that's always been there. He's coming over. He keeps coming back. We brought him in. He was down on Fremont Street. And uh, he decided, like, he was not going to cross the street and jaywalk like everybody else was around mm -hmm. him. So he waited for the light to change, we thought. And then when there's a couple seconds left on the uh, the hand, he decided to just dart across the street by himself, about to get hit by a car. So we conducted a stop on him. He decided to try to resist us immediately. So he kept kicking and trying to do things. So ended up finding methamphetamine in his sock. They uh, claim to you that he's hit by anybody tonight? He was claiming that yesterday. He said yesterday he arrived from Utah. Uh -huh. and. Somehow he got himself into a fight and got knocked out. Oh, okay. So he was trying to tell us to look at the side of his face. I didn't see anything on his face, or he wasn't bleeding or anything like that. What's the deal with the guy who's over there crying? He got picked up for jaywalking and uh, found <laughs> meth an issue. Oh, wow. So okay. uh, he's also claiming that he got knocked out, and then the people that knocked him out must have stuck the meth an issue. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> How you feeling, man? So they found meth in your shoe, this one with the blister? In the sock. Oh, in the sock? I got knocked out. You got knocked out of your pocket into your sock? No. <laughs> so forget all that. How long have you been using meth? That's the real question. Dude, I'm not on meth right now. That's why you think I'm on meth, because I'm not on meth. Look at my head. Somebody thumped me. I've never been knocked out, sir. That's why I'm in such disarray. It's weird feeling. Let me tell you something real quick. The oldest trick in the book. Sir, I don't like using that. <laughs> I have to quit using it. Is the Adderall. meth in the sock? I don't know how it got there, trick. Sir, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to pass through Vegas. I come to Vegas. I don't even gamble. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, man. Scoot your feet in. Scoot your feet in. Let this guy go by. You know that meth isn't good for you, right? You know that uh, a couple of hits sure, off the of meth. Sure, there's plenty of doctors that would hooked. tell you that methamphetamine is OK for you on a prescription basis. Now I know no, you're still high. Hey, lucky you. You're sitting right next to Albert Einstein. That's enough for me. Joe, come on back here. Yeah, back here. Come on back over here, sir. We just want to make sure you understand uh, what your charges are going to be, OK? You were getting charged with everything that you did. You obstructed me. You had a pipe on you. You had meth on you. And also, we have to charge you for the reason we stopped you, which is 
pedestrian failed to obey a walk, don't walk signal because you were caught with methamphetamine in your sock. That's why you're being charged here at Count Ants a felony, okay? But you are eligible for release on your own recognizance because this is your first felony here in Clark County, all right? Once you get through the booking process here, you're going to be released and you're going to be sent over to the city jail where you're going to face three charges. Will I get a warrant on those two charges? No, you won't. That's right. Okay? Listen, you're 31, right? You're not 13, right? They're not going to release you so that you can bolt. This is, right. this is not right. your first rodeo. You have multiple arrests out of Utah, California, okay? Very serious stuff. This is minor stuff compared what? to what it was in the past. I'm telling you, you know your way around the legal system, okay? All right, so this is nothing new. It's just in a different city and a different environment, okay? The number one thing you need to understand about Las Vegas, okay, if we tell you to do something, okay, do it, and then we'll explain ourselves afterward. I'll be happy to explain to you the reason why I stopped you and treat you cordially, okay? But if you don't listen to me, okay, we're gonna control you. Thank you, sir. Joel, go back to your seat. Yes, sir. Good luck, Joel. Go find your seat. Just one felony, and that's gonna get released on your own. He just doesn't understand the way it works down here. I mean, it's no. the same way in Utah where he's from, too. You listen to the police, or you get brought to jail. That's just the way it works. Sweep the gums all the way up and around. Take your fingers, just pull them up and around. I don't have anything. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you real Go nice. Ahead. I don't have anything in my mouth. Okay, that's all you had to do. I'm trying to help you out. If you don't Ad have to help, that's fine. Contact for Lincoln. Right? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, did you hit him? No. That was stupid. No, no, no. Hey, you get rid of that. No, it's a felony. What are you hitting him for? Yeah. You don't know. You're just... So why were you fighting with that guy? I don't know. You don't know? You, don't know? you just wanted to, to fight with him? Disagreement, that's all I know. That's what was the disagreement over? I don't know. You just decided to start punching on him? I don't know. Let's take him into Packtown. I'm going to call to see if he has a single cell. We'll turn the corner, put him up against the wall with the picture. Sorry, there was a mutual 416. Myself and Officer Kaiser broke that up. So the other guy needs to go away as well? Well, I think this was the aggressor yeah. and the whole 416 the, uh, altercation. Myself and Officer Kaiser witnessed the two guys, you know, resulting in pugilistic advances towards each other so we went over and decided to contain the 416 until adequate backup could arrive. All right, cool, thank you, appreciate it. All right, let's go to the I'll investigate what happened, pull some tape. I don't know if they said anything while they were over there, but the guy in the tank top just clearly stood up and started. And he's the second guy, right? Yes, the second guy in the gray shirt. What happened there? Ah, uh, man, I was sitting in this chair. He was sitting down there. He got up with two chairs close, and that's how he's swinging on me. I don't know the dude. Never talked to the dude. Never said nothing to the dude. You didn't say anything no, to him? No, I was still, you can look at your big I was still at that wall. I said, the whole time I've been here, but I'm not sitting so he up. He just stopped up out of the chair, yep, trying, to, trying to fight you and you're in your invalid chains. Yep. You bought back a little bit? No, I didn't touch him. Didn't, didn't touch him, bro. All right. No, no, no. Okay. I don't need another charge. No injuries or nothing, right? No, you're all right? Yeah. I'm not going to know my traffic ticket, man. I mean, why am I going to file on somebody like that on my traffic ticket? Okay, you know we'll, we'll handle him and take care of him and uh, appreciate your honesty. I'm still going to pull the tape, make sure your story does, okay? Go ahead. All right. You can have a seat back in the front row. Yeah, it definitely looks like Shane just got up out of his seat and uh, attacked our victim pretty much unprovoked. Good thing they were in belly chains, because if not, it might have been ugly. The other guy wasn't even expecting it. But uh, since the victim had no injuries and his, his story seems to, to match up, we'll probably just send Shane uh, up to disciplinary housing and he can uh, serve some of his time up there. No injuries, we won't add any extra charges to him though. <laughs> Hey Shane, I uh, I pulled the video on what happened out there in, in booking and it 
You just got up and started wailing on the guy. What was that about? Why'd you do it? You don't know. You just got up and started fighting him? Because he didn't look like he was even talking to you. He didn't fight back. He says he's never seen you before. Bad day, huh? You're just having a bad day? So you wanted to fight somebody? You're in here on traffic warrants, man. OK, well, we're going to have to send you up to disciplinary housing until either your release comes through or until as long as the board says you're going to have to spend up there. All right? Still, just, you don't want to tell me what happened? Just having a bad day? This is pretty much my last meal. Okay. All right, sit here and think about it. We'll get you booked in uh, a little later this afternoon. He said he was just having a bad day, so he'll have a hearing with our conduct adjustment board, and they'll determine how long he's going to spend up at a disciplinary house. I've been assigned to Central Booking here at the Clark County Detention Center for about 10 years. I've been a supervisor down here for the last three. I really like Central Booking. Every night's exciting. You never know what's going to come through those doors. We just got a call. There's a Code 5 male coming in, possibly combative. Um, if he is, we'll put him in a restraint chair. And I'll try to talk him in and see if he'll uh, come in peacefully. Oh, oh wow. Going to the chair. Right up there. He's, uh, apparently he's kicked out the window of the patrol vehicle on the way in. What's that? He's a big blood drop. Okay. And looks like he's going to be a blood draw for DUI. So we're placing him in the chair, most likely, just based on his behavior. You are probably the biggest douche amongst the group. Want to open the door, sir? Actually, I just want to walk you in the building. Do that, please. Are you going to cooperate? Are you going to open the door? Are you going to cooperate? Go fuck yourself. I'm trying to avoid putting you in that chair. I'm not worried about that chair. Let's try walking. You have to convince me that you're going to cooperate. Actually, I really don't. Well, then we're not walking. He's going to the go. chair. Okay. You're going to walk? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, get a spin hood ready. He's going, yep. Chairs behind you guys. If we need to take him down first, then we'll get him. I want to fall on his head. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> hey, by the way. Yeah. Watch the feet. Do you want to play him? He's playing, sir. Sir, you we gave you an opportunity to walk in. Do you want to play him? This is the most comfortable seat I've ever been in. Watch feet. Watch feet, guys. Do you like to bleed? I like to bleed. I'll make you bleed. Um. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm very educated. My, uh, sound like it. my IQ is uh, 141. What's yours? Sir, what's your last name? Really? What's your last name? Go check it out one time. What's your last name? Let me fix this for you. I don't know. I can't talk anymore because these guys have been so rough on me. What's your last name, sir? I don't know. These guys can tell you. Well, I'm asking you. I don't have an answer for you. All right. See you later, ladies. You guys are the weakest school soldiers I've ever seen. Hi, Trooper. Um, you brought in the Code 5, right? Yes, I did. OK, what happened with him? I was traveling on uh, 215 at Tropicana, and he approached me at a high rate of speed. Okay. I made a traffic stop on him, and when I made contact with the driver, I smelled alcohol. So I uh, put him out of the vehicle, and we did some uh, field sobriety tests. He failed all of them. When I arrested him, I placed him in the rear of my patrol vehicle, and then he became uncooperative. I tried to buckle him in, and he would jump to the other side of the vehicle. I'd go to that side, he'd jump to the other side of the vehicle, and we repeated that for a few times until I was able to get back up on scene and decide, and brought him down here to Code 5. And I did see the condition of your car, so he's kicked that window out pretty good. That's correct. About a block away from the jail, actually, he just started ra uh, yelling racial slurs at me, and threatening to fight me, and then he, while wearing his black Crocs, kicked out my side uh, side window. We saw the Crocs in his bag, yeah. 
I hope you get your car fixed soon. Thank you. All right. I don't get along with those. People uh, get on my nerves. Uh, I can relate to that. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. And now you're talking about me. I got, I got it. This is a warrant saying we're going to take your blood. Just copy this and be left in your property when you're released. I hate needles. Hey, knees on my head on the pavement, no problem. The needles, I'll, I'll start crying. You call time? Pass out. Done. <laughs> well done. All right, we got the first blood draw done. We're gonna do another one in an hour. Hopefully he'll be a little calmer. So he came out of the chair. He's uh, thus far has been cooperative. Still obviously intoxicated. Uh, this is just a big joke to him. John, have you been arrested before? Do you remember what you did tonight? Yeah, absolutely. You remember kicking the uh, door out of the patrol car? Absolutely. All right. I'd do it again. Why? Why? Why all the drama? Why not just come in here and get your process done? Why, why make it easy on punk officers? Why? They're just doing their job. Uh, to a certain degree. You have a point, to a certain degree. Are you going to bail out, or what are you going to do, man? I'm going to sit tight and probably an 8 Max or whatever you got, like a cell. I'm going to cozy up and sleep for days. You guys took half my blood. I'll sleep just fine. I worked off a lot. I got some healing to do, so that's going to take some energy. I'm going to sleep like a little baby. Fair enough. All right, thanks, John. John's still a little drunk. Doesn't seem to care that he's in jail. Uh, told me he's been arrested for for battery on a police officer, so obviously that means nothing to him. So he can stay here for a while. Working down in booking is sort of like working a city within the city. Everything comes in. You can be going along, having a nice smooth night, you know, even tempered. Nobody gives you any problems. And then all of a sudden, things just jump off, and you have to take yourself from a three all the way to a 10. I'm not going to go in there badly. You are going in there. Oh, no. Yeah. Is it boyfriend or husband? No longer neither. OK. He's my boy, he was my boyfriend. When he, he is no longer in. When he gets here, no communication nope. between you and him. Okay? Oh, no dirty was, looks, nope. no yelling, no. I know the rules here. Men are not allowed to talk to women because he was yeah. before. You already told me that. OK. Cross your left arm over your chest for me. And he will be told the same thing. It's not oh, like I'm, it's not like I'm singling you out. He's going to be in here for a minute. All right, have a seat in that brown chair. What were you guys arguing about that led into a fight? He, Oh, his no, knee gave out, whatever. He fell into the into my car door. Again, when you split get his out, head, split his lip. I tried to take him to the hospital. But before, as, my, as his girlfriend, I wanted to see his wounds. Right. You know, I wanted to try to clean him up a little to determine if he really needed to go. He wouldn't let me. So he started fighting me. I pulled over to the side of the road and said, either you let me look at your wounds or get the hell out of my car. He tried fighting me in my car. He got out of my car, took off. I waited there for about 45 minutes. He never returned, so I drove back to the residence. Did you take your belly ring out? What else is pierced that I can't see? You got nipple rings? Anything Hell down no. in this area? No? I want to be able to have sensation in my titties. That's important. OK. Well, I'm going through custody right now with my daughter. I'm trying to do everything right. I had a job mm -hmm. interview today. I'm supposed to go see a lawyer tomorrow. I'm representing myself as a mother and, a, right. and all my own. Come That's on up why, here. That's why me being in here is hurting my Come on. All right, I'm going to have you sign for your property. No, I don't want you to get upset. No, I am upset. This isn't the end of the world. Be here. Are you from Vegas? You are. Oh, you're born and raised here. Okay. Unfortunately. It's not that bad. Here. Uh, it's not 30 that bad. years old. I want out of this town. So let's take you out here and get you going, okay? This way. All right, they're ready to see you right over here. Just keep standing for me, real quick. So you brought Cynthia in, real emotional right now. What happened? I've got her side. I know there's. 
Basically, we got a call from a bypasser uh, that uh, had a red-haired female in a fight with a uh, white male. Each accused the other of starting the fight, and both said that they were fighting. Uh, had an independent witness gave us information that there is a mutual battery, okay. so we arrested both parties. Okay, is he here yet? Yeah, he's uh, over there in the white tank top t-shirt. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, so Cynthia's here for battery domestic violence. Hey, David, what was the fight today about? Because I tripped, and I need a friend of mine that I didn't even go to the doctor that I live with, and she didn't think I needed to. So we got halfway down the street, and she left me on the side of the fucking road. Were you were you arguing in the car? Yeah, we argued for a minute, okay. but it's because I wanted to go to the doctor and get checked out. So is the relationship over? According to her, it is. Yeah, well, that's her story. I mean, I love her to death. I've been there since day one. I've been there through thick and thin. I drove her to Mississippi and back, introduced her to my family. I put up with her shit since day one. This is her second time she's done this to me, beat my ass and sent me to jail, you know? Mm. This time she's here also. Yeah, well, you know what? She needs to be here because yeah. she, you can't walk away looking like this and not do nothing wrong, you know? Other than on your face, let me see that bite again. How, how did she do that? She just like got in, got in close and, yeah. all right. If this is the second time you've been in jail for a battery with Within her, a month. I would suggest. I was here like three and a half weeks ago. Well, about a month and a half ago. She bit a hole out of my hand last time. Jail, I, I love that woman with all my gets, heart. I mean, I really do. That, that's OK. You, nobody can change that. However, it's not working. So you can. Only when she drinks. Yeah. When she's sober, she's the greatest woman in the world. But when she drinks, she's yeah. the horriblest. I love her to death, but I'm not doing this no more. OK. We're, get my you, ass beat, and I go to jail for it. All right, well, good luck yeah. to you once you get out, OK? All right, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Did you bite him? Yes, I did. Yeah, you bit him? Okay. Because he had me wrapped around the throne. The other was in my self-defense. Okay. Get him the hell off me. Okay. So I bit him in the wherever I bought him. I don't know where I bit him. Okay. I'm assuming I bit him right here on the side. Yeah. Oh, right. yes, I bit him. I sure. thought that man loved me and cared and was helping me get my daughter back. And if that were the case, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I have faith in the universe, my daughter, and my public okay. defender and the judge. Well, right here is the safest I've felt in the last four months. Listen, pull yourself together and just get through. We'll get your paperwork. We'll get your um, booking photo. We'll move you on through to the other I side. I just want out so I can go see my daughter. <laughs> all right, Cynthia. Well, I wish you luck. If you have any questions, you let me know, OK? Because I'll be around here all night, OK? All right, thank you. I've gotten both sides of the story, and they both tell me that they both love each other. It's obviously not working. They're going to have to each tell their side of the story in court. And um, I wish them both luck. It sounds like they both need to go their separate ways. It's not working for them. Stop right there and spread your feet for me. So what did they arrest you for? They said domestic violence, but you know what she did to me? What'd she do to you? She stabbed me. Stabbed you? Hold the shirt up and check it. You see the cuff. You see it? Uh-huh. That's a stab. Well, no. it looks like a scratch, but it could be a stab. Well, I don't know. from a knife. It's I a knife. don't know. Do you see this finger? That's yeah. what her trying to cut my finger off the world's sharpest knife. <laughs> Getting soup? You see the other scar on my arm? They call that justice? They said, I'm going to jail. OK, I understand that. I'm at the jail now. Right. And once I tell the listen, huh? once I tell the judge who's my story, I'll probably be out to the Wednesday. And I talked to the district attorney. I could tell him everything this bitch has done to me. And you'll he's going to decide yeah. if she you'll should be arrested. Yeah. You'll, have a, okay. you'll have a chance yeah. to speak your side. Uh, so now I'm going to jail. You're in jail. You're here. Oh, let's go. We're going to get you to go see the nurse. See the nurse. Make sure you're medically OK. I'll have her take a look at those cuts for you, OK? All right. Come, come this way. The cuts are not serious this time, but I'll show you something. It was serious. Oh, don't show me nothing. And all I did is ask her to give me the knife. Good <laughs> dog cut me. James stated that this is his second time of being falsely accused of domestic violence. I'm trying to answer your question. <laughs> what exactly happened out there with him? We had a call about a, a stabbing. Uh, two people fighting with knives. We arrived. He's out there screaming about she cut me and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Tried to slam the door in officer's faces. They were able to get him into custody. Basically, he had held her down. And mm -hmm. out of fear, she grabbed a first thing she could find was like a dart. 
Okay. And took a couple shots at his forearm and chest, and <clears throat> he got up, got away, went outside screaming to everybody, hey, she cut me, all this stuff. Then <laughs> went back inside, said he was going to cut her. She grabbed a steak knife. Is like, okay, if it's, we're going to fight, it's going down like this. Yeah. She wanted and, to put up with it. Cool. Yeah, so he's going for the, the bad TV, and she got the self-defense part. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, no problem. All right. So, James, what, uh, what exactly did go on today? A total injustice. A total injustice. We'll start with, just give me some of the facts. She spent all her time disrespecting me and my mother. Called my mother oh. up there, so my mother died. Right. I've only seen my mother two or three times in my life. Can't disrespect your mom. My mother's funeral. My mother's not a bitch. No. She was the I'm best not. woman that I ever met in my lifetime. I'm not going to let this girl who is a bitch call my mother Okay, so she, she disrespected your mom, then what happened? Right, that's how this all happened. I pushed her to the sofa, and while <laughs> she was on the sofa, she started cutting me up and stabbing me. I told her, you can leave. What was she using when I she was cutting you? Now, listen, I told her when she started doing this, you can leave, you can get out of here right now. She said, make me. Ah. Uh, now, she tells the police that she was defending herself. There's right. no such thing. I'm going to have you step up here. We're about done with your paperwork. Start getting you through, okay? Okay, this is the girl's side, this is the men's side. You're gonna have a seat in one of the first two rows, okay? Anywhere over here? In one of those first three rows. Any seat. So James is in for the next step, so he'll get to use the phone, talk to the nurse, he'll talk to pretrial about maybe trying to get out of here. So he's pretty chatty, but we'll definitely keep our eye on him. Yeah. I don't know. This was kind of a cool birthday, though, because I didn't have no plans anyway. We'll try and get some cake up on mm -hmm. a tray here for lunchtime. That, a cupcake could do our cookies. Too late. I might be able to hook you up with two, two cookies. I'm going to put like, chocolate chip cookies. This will be a funny joke in, like, 15 years. I know uh, I haven't done anything to hurt anyone, so I'm OK. As long as I ain't hurt nobody in this world. No all dogs, right. no cats, no rats. Oh, it can't be that. All right, we're all done here. Let's go see the nurse. And I don't like chemicals being shot in my body. So tell me what's up with Arletta. All right, we were in a local apartment complex in our area command. Shout out to Eddie Warren, so we just picked her up, booked her, and uh, brought her here to jail. So what yeah, were her warrants for? Yeah, basically, they're traffic related. But well, we had intel that there's certain things going on at this apartment complex that she's involved with. So uh, she gets to come here and take a stay. And she's a very happy camper. You know, she has her birthday today. Yeah, you made her birthday today. Mr. <laughs> so Arletta, you enjoy your birthday here at CCDC. Thank you so much. I'll make the best of it. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. OK. How'd you get arrested? What happened? On the way back from dumping my trash, I was talking to a neighbor, and the police pulled up in this really nice black and white truck. And they said, is your name Arletta? And I said, yes, it is, sir. And they started handcuffing. Then I said, sir, may I ask you what this is about? And he said, you have some one. And I said, I don't doubt that. OK. And that was the end of that. Yeah. But I had a good time on the way here. Look, we got your cookie, though. Is the cookie I OK? I will have a cookie. It's my birthday. I Straight want the cookie. Yeah, take, take the whole tray, tray yeah. You, you there you go. Yeah, they didn't send a candle. Want something to drink? A candle. They didn't send a candle. No. I'll light some water. We can't have candles in here. I, oh, yeah, they said we wouldn't be able to light it, but I told them I would pretend it was lit. You can pretend there's a candle. Come on. Here's my cake. Happy birthday. I can't carry a tune, so I am not singing to you. So I know you me can. And you, the same. you can sing, though. I know That's me fine. and you. No, yeah. me and you the same. I can't carry a tune either. No, maybe we better okay. not I don't sing. like cookies that much anyway. I'm not really a sweet eater. We'll come back and talk to you soon. All right, guys, y'all have a good day. All right, enjoy my birthday. Oh, well, this is good, though. This is good. Arletta, a 
few minutes ago, the booking sergeant told her to move over, and now she's not very happy that he made her change seats. Come on in here. Let me have your cup. Let's get rid of that cup. You stand right here in that red square for me, please. There. What's your date of birth, ma'am? That officer out there was bothering me, and I didn't do nothing to him. I think that was the sergeant that asked you. I, I don't care me. if he was God. I didn't do nothing to him. I understand. Tell him I said thank you for ruining my freaking birthday. Our letter. Put right the here. Look up. Yeah, just hold okay. still. Perfect. I'm not gonna be smiling. Wait a minute, I want to smile. I didn't get you smiling. Okay. Turn, okay. Your, turn your body to the right. <laughs> no, I do want to smile. Not this time. Oh. Too late. There you go. So you're going to get a copy of all your charges, all your bench warrants. You need your signature right here. I did. OK, come with me. I'll explain the room to you. I'm sure you already know. You've been here before, correct? Yeah. Stand right here for me, please. All right, you're going to go have a seat up here on the first three rows with the females. Don't talk to the guys, OK? If you have a question, it's just like being in school. Just raise your hand for anything, OK? Don't let that little thing incident hurt you. How many does that be? OK. Those are all your bench warrants, charges. All right? Arletta came in on some warrants, and she was in a good mood. But as it often happens, people's moods change. And when they have to follow our instructions, they finally realize they're in jail. Cape had custom made. And where's your where's where's the headgear? Ah, uh, they got it in there. They took it. Yeah. So I believe you're a class two. You understand what class two is? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I know you see all wrote me a citation. Yeah, exactly. Citation, and, and they they explained it to you that, uh, well, your explanation to me was that they wanted to get you off the streets because you were a nuisance. No, uh, the other street performers wanted to get me off it because I made more money than they do. So what does he do as a performer? Uh, Chewbacca. Oh, he's Chewbacca? Right. OK, and so what Chewbacca does is if he can't make more money than you do, he'll wait till all your witnesses, like you go to the restroom, they go on break, they go have lunch, he'll call the police and make up some stuff about you and then have you arrested. This way he can make money and you can't. Never same seen person, man in jail before. same BS. What, what Chewbacca doesn't like is I won't let him use the people's kids against them. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll, he'll grab the kids and hold on to them until you take a picture. He'll hold on to your kid until you give him money. Move down the street, maybe go down to the Bellagio. I see, I see I, I street can't, performers I down there do all it. the time. Are you I familiar with those no. people? I'm sorry, yeah. I can't do it. Why not? I'm not going to sit here and watch people get conned into. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stand up to the tourists in this city. Somebody's got to do it. And like y'all keep saying, the way the evil, you know, becomes good is good men won't do nothing. And I'm not going to do it. All right. Yes, sir. So we're going to go ahead and pat you down. You know we're yes, going to have to impound yeah, your stuff there, right? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Right here on this line for me. Yes, sir. And you're going to face this way. All right, so, uh, all right, so how did this all come this about? Way. What happened? Okay. What, what led up to the argument and then you getting arrested? Straight up? Okay, uh, straight up. OK. So what I'm doing is I'm telling the people beforehand, don't grab the lightsaber, watch out, Chewbacca's a con, he's going to use your kids against them. All right, so he gets mad, all right? And he wouldn't do anything. He kept trying to challenge me to a fight. Okay? And of course, I said, hey, man, what you go ahead and start swinging. So as soon as my witness, the guy I was working with, walked off, Chewie called the police. Uh, Chewie's a pretty big guy. I mean, you know, yeah. is, you ever fight him? Uh, this time, yeah. This time he hit me twice. And uh, so I finally, I finally clocked him. So how long have you been playing Batman out there? I used to be in Hollywood, and now I'm here. I've really? been here about three and a half years. What'd you do in Hollywood? I'm curious. Same thing. I did, uh, I did, uh, let me see, I did acting, I did Batman, I did, uh... You did the real security. Batman? Well, the real, real Batman? I actually doubled for George. Really? Yeah. 
Wow. That was the other developer, George Clooney. Wow. Oh, good for you. I can see the resemblance. I can see the, yeah, I can yeah. see the resemblance, yeah. Is that the pattern there? That's all real, huh? No, that's, that's real. Me. Okay, it looks foamish, but okay, he killed it, so he's not. It's, it's a lawful use of force and violence upon the person of another, so he's in here for a couple hours. Uh, we'll process him and get him out of here within four hours. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the arresting officer and get his side of the story. Right here in the FedEx. Hey, guys, what's up with Kate Crusader? Oh, he's just down on the strip. I heard he got um, into an altercation with Chewbacca, so I think a battery ensued after that, and here he is now. So what was his demeanor like in the van when you're being transported? What was, what was He's he pretty uh, cooperative. And then once he was in the back, he was kind of fluctuating from being uh, upset. And then he calmed back down. So I think it's just a flex of emotion. So, but it seems like he's calmed down now. So. All right. All right, step inside. Turn to your left. So what's going to happen when you go back on the street and meet Chewbacca again? This is the third time. And every time is with Chewbacca, huh? Okay, every time it. you've been arrested is with Chewbacca? More or less. Wow. <laughs> First two rows, left-hand side. Need to use the phone, water, or the restroom, raise your hand. Okay. Somebody calls your name, stop whatever you're doing, go back and take care of your business. While you are out here, do not talk across aisles to the girls. Hang on to that, get a finger and then they're going to kick you out, OK? OK. Hope you're happy. Nah, I two rows. Phone or... yeah. like, like I said, he just made the stuff up because his suit's so crappy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It's not an original suit? No. It, not like it, yours? It looks, no. Not like yours. It looks like crap. His suit, yeah. It's, it's, Is this homemade? It's No, he bought it, but it's okay. it, it's got hair missing. It looks like he's in chemotherapy, a mange, something, man. It's horrible. It's a horrible suit. It smells horrible. Yeah, like I said, as soon as he saw my witness, Spider-Man, walk off. Spider-Man? Yeah, that's when he calls y'all. But like I said, in court, I'll, 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 I'll have my sure <laughs> All right, man. He's just got class two, so, which is a, just a citation. Uh, he'll be out of here within four hours. Yo, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and check up on Batman. His time is about due. He's, he should be getting released. Oh, there he is right now. 29. Uh, what's our odds for? This is the one. 29A. Uh, and see, and it's the chin is what really. Go for 29. This is a great outfit. Yeah. And this is this what we're kind of trying to tell Chewy is the fact that, dude, if you, if you want more pictures, you want more people, get a better costume. Be nicer to the people. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, All right, mister. I, I Good luck to you. Apologize. All right, guys. All right, man. You stay up, yeah? You can't keep turning your head against evil. Stay out of trouble. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Have a good one. health issues? Yes, I do. Okay, but can you listen, though? No, I can't. And follow listen, instructions? I can't focus either. So, yeah. that's the problem. Okay, can you at least try? Because I'm... I'm gonna really try. That's all I need. Okay, Let's what do you see. need? I want you to turn around and face that direction. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Let go of my arm. I have a broken arm. Let go of it. All right. Let Take go. a deep breath, Julie. Let's, let's breathe together. No, let's no, breathe no, together. No, 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 no. Hey, go. Kelly! Get your hand off my arm. Ma'am, I have to I hold have on to your arm. arm. I'm not Get I'm barely touching you. Listen to me. I need you to spread your feet for me. Sergeant! Are you being difficult, ma'am? Oh, my God. I have a broken tailored? arm. Okay. I see that, ma'am, but I'm barely touching off? you. I need it's you to spread your feet. Are you being difficult? Are you being I'm difficult? Just, I okay. Okay, look. We're not gonna this, this isn't going to work. Do you want to go to a wall? Okay. Let's just go right here. Okay. I right up here against the wall. There you go. Me. Spread your feet. There oh, you go. Okay, go. hold still, Julie, okay? Let there you go. My, oh! Let go of me! Julie, you're Please let me do it! Please! Get out, please! Oh, Julie, stop. Let go of me! Let go of me! Please! Julie, I see your arm right please here. Let go of me! Please! I'm please begging you! You need to stop. And we'll look at it. I'll take the handcuffs off of you if you pay attention. Okay. Okay, so breathe for me. Okay. 
We have got to search you. Do you understand that? Relax. <laughs> no, that's the opposite of relaxing right now, Julie. Please. How about you do what we say first? I will. I like your shirt. You like Taylor Swift? Oh, I'm going to take you to medical after this. Come on. Okay. Oh, Where are you me sitting? We're going to take you to medical. You can tell them. Oh, look at that. You have a pretty nasty bruise on your arm, actually. It's it's right on. What happened? It's broken. She said she'd gone to the doctor, had it looked at. Uh, she thinks it's broken. Are you it's not broken. To me today? It's pretty bruised up. So she had told the other officer that she accidentally entered the house. She thought it was hers. and. Actually, the victim uh, confronted her on the way out of the apartment, so our victim actually saw her coming out. Did she know her? No. Okay. She's carrying clothing and some items that the, the victim recognizes being hers. Says, hey, why are you in my apartment? She responds with, I went in there to see your babysitter. And she took off and ran and, and continued to run around. So wow. canine found her hiding in a bush. That's crazy. She's lucky. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. She's OK. That bitch turned me upside down, this broken arm, and twisted it up to me and my back hard while the other girl grabbed my feet for nothing. You have to start acting like you're in our house now. Let's calm down. But I understand that you want me to be the big guy. It's a simple thing, and we're good. Okay, why isn't your ice pack on your arm? It's broken shoulder. Broken. You have a broken shoulder too? Yes. And then you guys twisted my shoulder. I mean, broken no, ma'am. We didn't twist your shoulder. Yes, you you fought against us. That's I what did happened. Not fight. I don't fight. Okay. I did not fight you. At all. You, I don't fight. You didn't cooperate. We turned on violent abuse. Violent abuse. Yes. I've seen you do it thousands of times. You've seen me do it a thousand times? Mm -hmm. Are you going to hit me again now? Nobody hits you. What'd you do to me? You are being extremely dramatic. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Huh? I don't understand the question. You're yeah, being very you really difficult. You just don't want to give me an ice pack. Because you're I mean. I got you an ice pack. You mean. just barely got an ice you pack. You broke my arm again, and you don't want to give me an ice pack. OK, Julia, okay. I'm not going to win, so we'll just leave you alone with you're your not gonna ice win. pack. Especially if you get a lawsuit, you're not going to win. I'm not worried about that, Julia. I'll be oh, OK. you should be. All right, chains are coming off. You calm down a little bit. I appreciate that. I'm going to take this chain from you. I know you want to keep it. Don't cry. Why are you crying? All right, I want you to follow me. Let's move on. Let's go into this room. OK, here's your charges, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The burglary and the home invasion. Yeah, yeah. Two felonies. Yeah. $40,000 bill. All right, go sit between these two ladies. No, no, you got to be in the back row. She came in somewhat calm and then just went ballistic when we were trying to pass search her. Her uh, bell was a total of $40,000, so I don't know if she's going to bail out or she's going to end up going to court and just talking with the judge about it. been on department for 11 years. We try to keep everything light, have a good time down here, but you have to stay on your toes. It does get dangerous down here, and you have to react quickly. Whoa. Come here, sir. Stand over here for me. Right over here. Sorry, you want to see They can't even Spread your feet. What are you here for? If your wife gets pulled over, can she afford a $600 traffic ticket? Tell me. Not if it went to warrant, no. No, um, exactly. I mean, she got a $600 traffic ticket. A $600 traffic ticket. Nobody's going to be happy. I'm not going to uh, be, uh, be happy. Were you driving today? But no, that's why I got locked up. I was with right. somebody. Have a seat right here. Up. Have a seat. Well, hold on. Have a seat for me. Well, okay. For you. There yes, you sir. go. Good. I'm just saying. Did you try to make payments on it, or did you just? I mean, you're getting warrants if you can. This guy gave me $200 ticket 
for my registration not matching my driver's license. Okay. Your license and your insurance don't match right now. Tell me the truth. No, oh, it mean, does. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does. They might, they might put me oh. in jail with, like, my who have murder charges and everything. Right. It won't be a separation. I'll sit right there with my traffic tickets, oh, and, and I'll sit there like an ass with murderers. Does it make you feel big that you brought a guy with traffic tickets in? Well, I didn't you bring sure you in. You went out. I understand that I didn't bring you in, OK? You see, so, you're looking at me, though. Well, way, yeah. it, maybe this I'm doing my job. Come sign for your property. Dude, I'm a, look, you don't understand. How I'm much was your ticket? Look. Read it. I don't have your ticket or anything like that. Uh, OK. We're putting $620 on your property right now, OK? I'm going to get $600 back. Sign by that red X right there for your property. Why would okay. I sign that? All right. Why don't you look? Come this way. Okay. Yeah. Why, why are you guys going? No, no. What, what are you on, come doing? On. We're going this way. You. We're yeah. going this way. Hold on, man. Keep your pants up. Yep. Walk this way. Look, why are you treating me like I'm come different on over than you? Here. Come on, Your boy. kids are going to get treated like this. Why are you acting like this for me? I don't want any problems with you guys. Can we hit one real quick? Right I'm here. not doing anything. Right here. You're going to put your right, right thumb right there. Why, why do I have to do that? Thumb. You're forcing me. You're why, why are you guys forcing me to do this? Because you can't do it yourself. I, I can't here. do it myself. Really? Where are we taking them? Okay. Right, right. Come on. Right, why do I have to have everything? I'm not even doing anything. Camera on. Camera on. Why would you treat me like what's, what's this? So you're not following think, our instructions. I am following your instructions. No, you're not. No, you're being, you're, you're being. You keep turning on me, breathing on me. And I didn't do anything. Hurting me. I'll spray my feet. Yeah. Why do you guys be so mean? You've been argumentative and really just flat out unable to follow instructions this whole time. I, I'm, I open the food Just stand on top of your head. To feed homeless women keep with Keep your hand on your head, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Side step. Yeah. OK, whatever you guys say. Look, Over here. I'm not. A criminal. He's kicking I'm, the shoes I'm, in. I'm a guy of the community. Mr. Walk on in. Go on there for a little while and just well, uh, calm do down, okay? Based on his behavior, we determined he's not going to be able to sit in pre-arrest or open booking until he has a cool back period. So he's back to C7. I didn't do dinner. This guy had like $620. I don't understand why he just didn't pay his traffic tickets. <laughs> Joe has been in a side cell for the last couple of hours. He actually was a passenger in a car, and the uh, officer ran his name, and he ended up having warrants. So, let's see if he can calm down and he can get him out of here. Joe, Hello. come talk to me about these uh, traffic violations. You, you you were all upset about your traffic violations. Why didn't you just uh, pay him with the money you had on your on you? Oh, man. I'm poor, man. Okay. I know you look like a high rank guy. Can you afford to pay a six hundred dollar traffic ticket? Like, is that like in your budget? Obviously, like, actually, is it? But if it wasn't in my budget, what I would do is go to court and get on a payment plan that they can do for you. Setting up a payment plan isn't that better than ending up in jail? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's one way you can go. No, okay, you just stay quiet, out. King. Stay it's calm in there. We'll get you out. So maybe this guy finally gets it, that if he would actually just pay the $600 ticket, money he had on him already, he would not end up in jail. I was 17 years old. Holy moly, so you've been with him for since you were 17? Yes, and he's trying to say two and a half years. He's just a compulsive liar. Hand across your chest, OK? Have you ever been here before? No. How old is he? 42. Hand across your chest. Have a seat right there, ma'am. Yeah. Have a seat right there. Can you, you want your jewelry, OK? Your piercings. Oh, take it out? Yes, ma'am. You know no man's worth making yourself crazy, right? You're too young. 
almost five years. She can't tell me he's gonna leave her. He literally told me he just got off phone and told her, but he got off phone with you guys. Does he have kids? Three. Does he have me with you? No, that's why he said he was going to, because I want to badly. Did you want this badly? <laughs> he's hurt me so bad. I can't believe he just did this. Last night, love you, good night, bye. Call him this morning. He bitch, don't come to my store. <laughs> what did the cops say when they got home? They didn't say anything. I got, you know. So you got angry at the cops? No, I was angry at him because he was lying to the cop right there in front of my face. So what I was, was getting angry. The cops? That I hit him right then and there when uh, with the scratch mark when that was yesterday or the day before. I will admit I hit him, yes, but not today at all, not one time. He's a compulsive liar, and I just now realized this after almost five years. I should have listened to my sister for these four years. So I'm I'm like this because of him. I'm madly in love with him, and he won't tell his wife. All right, come on out here. Get up. Come on here, have a seat in the chair with the three on it, okay? Yes. Yeah, so So what was the original problem? What was the problem with you? Just he's married man with three kids. So are you going to pursue it? You're not going to pursue it? No, I love him. I still do, but look at where I am because of him. <laughs> Obviously, she's not going to leave him. He's not going to leave her. Let them be happy. Well, good for you. At least you're listening. You're learning from this. Okay. And just leave him alone because he, he is worth it. He's not. He's done. We're done. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> they ain't worth the time or the day. Okay. Maria, come on in here. Come on in. You have the battery domestic violence, which is a $3,000 bail. Bail, and they also charge you with it looks like resisting a police officer or resisting arrest, which is a $1,000 bail. Are you gonna be able to bail out? No, I have to do the time. Okay. Well, you'll see a judge in a couple days, and they'll probably release you then. OK? Come on over here. You come out here, have a seat. You want to actually have a seat in the back row, OK? Don't get up that raise your hand. Listen up for your name, all right? Have a seat first back row. Don't ever cross that red line. Maria obviously seems to be in a very dysfunctional relationship. Maybe her time in here will make her realize that her relationship's not healthy, and she'll get on with her life and move on. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Been working at CCDC for the last 10 years. The last two years have been assigned to the Central Booking Bureau. One good thing about the Central Booking Bureau is we rotate through our posts every three months, which keeps the job interesting, keeps the job fun. What's bringing you in here tonight? I'm getting rested because I was with some strippers and I was just having some fun, but it's all good. I just have a good. Wrecked my truck, right? Yeah, I wrecked my truck because I was drunk, having some fun. Right there on top of your head, turn right, around. Right, 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 right. Have a seat. <laughs> Sit down, bud. Sit down. Put your arms around. Take out your nipple piercings. Yes, sir. How much you think you had to drink tonight? Uh, four or five shots, maybe six. Six? Stand up. Yes, sir. Spin around, put your hands across your chest. Had too much fun with the strippers or what? Too much fun. It's a pretty nasty gash above your eye. Did medical see him on scene? Yes, they did. And put it into a pole? After hitting a car. After hitting a car. What's the occasion? Strippers. All right, we're going to have you go with your officer really quick. All right, come on. We'll bring you back in, sign for your stuff, and grab your uh, nipple piercings yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it. Sorry, man. We're going to do what right? we we'll talk about out there. Uh, I think he's going to blow pretty high on the breathalyzer. He seems pretty intoxicated. Take a deep breath. Go ahead, keep blowing. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Yes, sir. How long have you been out here? Two years. Two years? You like it out here? Uh, so, so. Uh, Better strip clubs out here than New Mexico? I don't give a <laughs> about strip clubs, but yeah, <laughs> today was a good night. What brought you to Vegas? Money. And my woman, Celine Dion. Yeah? 
I have Celine Dion on my shirt. Get her tattooed on you? Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Smell me. Smell that? That's LPR, liquid panty remover. And the girls like it. Hell yeah. Liquid what? Panty remover. Liquid panty remover. Damn right. man, drop that panties real quick. I saw cologne full time. All right. I'm guessing it's about a 2.4 range. There you go. Awesome. Yep. 2.4. And you just met the guy. No, I just met the I've guy. I've been with him for over an hour. Man. According to the officer, it's a pretty nasty scene out there. Lucky guy to be alive right now. Do me a favor. Go ahead and have a seat over there. S sit up front. You guys want him up front? Yeah, we'll get him screened okay. by the nurse really quick. Yes. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. I don't mean to respect. I can have to the pee. Yeah, as you can see by the nurse. Have a seat, buddy. Manuel, let her uh, okay, finish nice. cleaning you up, OK? Yes, sir. Yes. We'll, get her, we'll get you all cleaned up. We'll get you into the bathroom so you can use the restroom. It's not major. It's like, just like, uh, this motherfucker got hit. Yeah, Manuel's a lucky guy tonight. Hit a car, ran into a pole. You it's a pretty deep laceration. Sure you want just glue me up. Super glue. Yeah. It's like bruising. You got pretty good pain compliance, man. I appreciate all this. Don't touch him, all right? Let it dry. Sell me up. So we're going to have you sit out here. The officer's going to finish up his paperwork. You'll be able to make a call. Call some of your friends, all right? Yes, sir. Come sit on the other side over here, bud. This way. Don't have any problems with anybody else, OK? We'll be calling you into the next room shortly. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Good enough. He was driving westbound on Tropicana, made a left turn. Cars were driving eastbound, and he collided with one of them, drove off the road, hit oh, McDonald's. So he collided with a moving vehicle? Yeah, he hit the moving vehicle, then drove off the road, hit the sign. His truck's all banged up. And then we bring him in here, and he blows a 2.4. Correct. Did you see any evidence of this cologne he sells? Yes, he's oh. extremely proud of this cologne. He says he sells it. He's very successful with it. Uh, he kept referring to it as liquid panty remover. Manuel's trying to look into the silver reflection to see if he can see how bad his cut is over his eye. I'm sure he'll be feeling the pain later. You good? All right, have a seat now. Hey, did, you, did the strippers come to your house, or did you go to the club? I went to their house. I didn't go to no club. I'm just him that was over there with LPR on me. So you went to their house? Damn right. So the strippers have your money now. Right. Can you get in there? I might. I got a bottle of that cologne and I drop your name, can I get in? Yep. That'll work? Yep, damn right. I'm gonna talk to my husband, see if he can get me some for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get too loud, man. Well, chill out. Hey, Manuel, how you doing, buddy? You hanging in there or what? Yeah, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, but... Were you ready to lay down and relax a little bit? Yeah, my neck's hurting. I don't give a about laying down. It's just my neck hurts. Yeah. Is the alcohol starting to wear off a little bit? Nah, but like, just sitting in this chair. Have you like... tried to sit back and relax or what? Nah, yeah, but that wreck in my neck is just, like, hurting. Listen, we're going to check on your paperwork. Too much longer it's going to be all right. We'll get you checked out. All right? Please, please, because my neck is, like, killing me for no reason, like, well, the reason is because you well, got mean, in a car accident yeah, and bounced for, your yeah, truck off a pole. On the seat. Just chill out. You'll be out of those chains into the next room shortly, man. <laughs> Looks like the alcohol is finally starting to wear off for Manuel. He's starting to feel the pain of the accident. Soon enough, he'll be out of this room and into the next process. Chest. Separate your feet. Yeah. Hey, at least why are you here, back. sir? He's a different guy. Defending myself, that's why I'm here. Where's all the blood from? From the other guy. Can I do a fight? No. No fight. Have a seat, sir. From back east? Yeah. Where are you from? New York. Where? Brooklyn. Why are you here? Some people sent some people after me, and I beat you. I don't want a gun. Case closed. All the way from Brooklyn. Why are you in Vegas? I got family here. Oh, you got family here? Yeah. I got some family from Brooklyn. It's a nice spot. How many people did you get into it with? Just one. Where's he at? 
lives across the street from me. Uh, neighbor. You good? Well, he's good. Call him a neighbor. I'm going through this for a long time, so. Ongoing it's thing? Going to a head. Oh, yeah. It just came to a head tonight. Is he from New York? No, I don't even know. He was sent there to do what he was doing. Case closed, that's it. So he was sent to live across the street from you to he's just, harass you? He's, oh, yeah. It's too much for me to explain here. Look, if I wanted to kill the guy, I would have killed him right there. I, I had no, no intention to kill the guy. I ain't going to get screwed around by what's going on. Just make sure you're around here. You don't get into it, anybody, right? Me? I'm, I'm a quiet guy. Just keep your New York attitude, your Brooklyn attitude down, all right? That's all you had, two black shoes, two black socks, black belt, and a 50-cent piece? All right, Anthony, let's get you going. You're going to sit where that two is in the second row. Wait for medical call you, all right? Sure. He's a typical guy from Brooklyn, old school, just has that attitude. What happened with that guy? He had some conspiracy theory thoughts. Um, since like 03, he said that people that built his house or, um, you know, after him, been tracking him and everything like that. Ends up confronting the neighbor in front of his house with a gun, beats him on the head with the gun, fires a round off. Um, neighbors start coming out, calling the police. This guy's like fumbling back into his house, pounding the door for his wife to let him in. His wife lets him in, he's bleeding all over the head. We all show up. He's out there yelling, I shot my gun off, and if I wanted to kill them, I would have done it. Then he just kept talking about his conspiracy theory pretty much the whole time until yeah, detectives can come. He said it was a long time coming. Oh, yeah. He told me he met him in the middle of the street and just handled his business. Yep. So, yeah, he seems like he's a little out there. Yeah, I don't know whether he watched like, a mob movie. And he might have. He's from Brooklyn. Yeah, he might. So. <laughs> we'll see how he does in here. Yeah. Anthony. So what happened tonight? Look, I've been hassled for a long time by these people. Who are these people? The people where I live. Started right. it out. Right. So your neighbors. That guy that had the confrontation tonight started in New York. <laughs> so from New York, he came here. All right. So I just watched, 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 and, and I found out who was involved. All right. So what did, what did he directly do to you? Well, we had a confrontation one time when he stopped pushing me around. I called the police. So the cop comes, and he tells me the cop that I spoke to somebody not known by either party. He tells me I'm paranoid. I said, is that right? This is why I, I, I called, because I wanted to see. They have friends in the police department. I guess there's a bunch of people, conspiracy, well, the, out to get you. I understand you're protecting yourself. I did. My family, yeah. too. All right. I get it. Case closed. Mm-hmm. What they're trying to set me up. This is what this whole thing was about tonight, setting right. me up. Well, let's try to get you out of here, OK? You ready? Your paperwork. So I'm going to get your picture taken? Sure. All right, buddy. Come on, head this way. Come this way. All right, Anthony, look up at that camera. Look straight ahead. Anthony, right up there, buddy. Okay. All right, Anthony, come over here. You're going to sign your stuff. All right, this is your charges, Anthony. Battery with uh, use of deadly weapon, you already know. All right, bail is $20,000. Come this way. You've been here before? No. All right. You're going to come out here. You're going to sit on the left-hand side with the guys, OK? No. Don't get any trouble. Hang tight. That's uh... it. All right. First three rows, have a seat, listen for your name, OK, Anthony? Oh, Make sure you don't get up without raising your hand asking first, all right? Anyway. In his mind, someone crossed the line today. So Anthony stepped up and took care of business. He has that little New York attitude in him, old school. So we'll see how he does in here. We'll get him out of here as quick as we can. misdemeanor cell. You're treating me like a felon. You're taking off my jeans right now and I'm going to sit here in underwear? When am I going to get all my all my stuff back on? I, I don't have a lot of money in Especially time. Especially when you get out of jail. When do I get to use the bathroom? I don't want to pee my pants. Shh, why are you so loud? I don't want to pee my pants, Calm okay? Down. Come on out this way. You're going to go. See you the next. Okay, thank you. Guys, over here. Have you been here before? Which arm do you want? This yes, one. I've seen them before. You have. Do you have allergies to medicine or food? No. Medications? Yes. What do you take? Fluofenamine. Do you take anything else or just that one? 
Just that one. It's okay, though. I'm not taking it now. Why are you lifting your head up? I'm glad you I'm glad you texted me that. Craig? Uh-uh. Okay. But I'm glad you From the fluofenamine. Okay. I need cogent right now. It combats the side effects from the prolexin when my neck starts going straight up. Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's what's happening right You're now. You're having a reaction. Thank you. I'm having a reaction, yes. Wouldn't it be stuck up there, not nodding? Yeah. Yeah, you're like a fish almost. Mm -hmm. Or a bobblehead. That's enough. Thank you. We're done. Have a seat in the first row. You want to sit down? Thank you. You brought Greg in today? Yes, ma'am. And what's he here for? He was at one of our local convenience stores, and the clerks were saying he was getting way too close to him. He was uh, asking him for dates. He was really loud, and he was just making him really uncomfortable. So what were his charges? What did you bring him in for? He was arrested for possession of controlled substance, Schedule One drug, Spice. Came in this little, uh, this little zombie vial. They sell him at the local smoke shops with his erratic behavior. We believe he smoked it recently as well. Is he someone that's typical of doing spice? Is oh yeah, somebody? absolutely. Okay. A little older per se. You know, usually it's a younger person's game, but you know, uh, maybe it helps him out. He's, you know, kind of a Casanova. So what happened when you were out there at the convenience store? Were you at 7-Eleven or? Yeah. They what called happened? the cops on me. I don't know why. I was having ice cream and, and, and ice water. Well, you know you're getting an OR. Huh? What does that we're, mean? We're going to let you go. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to go? Okay. I'd actually like to stay the night. You, you want to stay here? Yeah. What do you want to eat? Our dinner? Would that be all right? Well, this is going to get you out. So you, you'll probably be here for a little bit longer. Is that going to be OK? OK. OK. So I'm going to give you this. Sign right there for me. You're very nice. Thank you so much. You people are so nice here. Thank you. I, I really like Vegas. I yeah. want to stay. All right. And I wanted you. to, I'm, I'm going to have to get something to eat when we have chow. We're going to give you something to eat. What do you okay. want? I, I, uh, a sandwich, and, a sandwich. And, and cookies or something. A, a sandwich, sandwich and cookies. Whatever they have. Okay. Normally they would have. Bologna, mustard, bologna, bologna, a bologna, bologna mustard. sandwich. Yeah. Cheese? With cheese, yeah. With cheese, white bread or wheat? Well, white. Really? White, white bread. Well, I got to give you choices. Okay, yes. White bread. Yes, white bread. Okay. We can get that for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Come on in. Let's get a picture of you. Why don't we Can we take the cuffs off? Yeah. All right. Step back to the red box, okay. and then we'll get this all taken care of. There you go. You can look up here. Put your head down. You want to go sit back down? Put your head down. Face. There you go. Stop moving your head. All right. Turn your body to the right. There we kind of go. Be good, and you'll get released sometime today. Okay. Is there a place I can go lay down, please? There's no laying down, not till later on. I take uh, medication. I would really maybe like to sit in a chair or oh, something. Oh, you have to sit in a chair? Come on over here. All right, looks like you have no money. Go ahead and stand right there. All right, looks like you're here for possession control substance. Spice. Yeah. And you know, when you leave here, you're also going to have a, a warrant for a city, so you're going to be going to city next. So you will have a, a place to stay for a couple of days. All right, this is your booking sheet. Okay, so I'm in jail for a couple of days. Right. Only here for a day, and then you'll be going to city. With me? First three rows. Anytime you need to get up, remember to raise your hand. All right? Go have a seat in the first three rows. So Greg has been through the initial process. He's over here now in open booking. And this is one of the first times, I think, that we've had somebody that's actually wanted to stay in jail. He can get out on his own recognizance, and he wants to stay here instead. Anything on you that you shouldn't have? No, I don't have anything else. What are you here for? I heard something about a fugitive. Uh, possession of uh, cocaine. It was three years ago. I I'm not that person anymore. You're not that person anymore? What no. do you do now? 
Now I sing. You what? Sing. You sing? Yeah. Like in a band? Not yet. I've been practicing for three years. What kind of music do you sing? What do you um, like to I sing? I like pop the most. Go ahead and have a seat. Take your jacket off. I think you should sing so I can tell you if you're good or not. I'd be honest with you. I don't need anyone to tell me if I'm good. Oh, OK. Do you write your own music? Yeah, and I dance, and I work out. Yeah. Well, you're much better than the whole drug thing three yeah, years ago. Yeah, I made a complete 360. <laughs> yeah. Walk with me. Right over here. I need the hoodie. You can put this on instead. Well, I'm going to audition for America's Got Talent. And audition one. for America's Got Gel right now. <laughs> this place is so depressing. It would yeah, make me happy if you did. OK, go ahead and stand right here. Face that direction. Put your hands behind your head. When was the last time you were in jail? This is my first. Wow. There was like some <laughs> kind of rock guy out there. Did you see him? Oh, really? I should put him with you, and you guys can collaborate, <laughs> sing a duet. <laughs> right. All right, right here. Have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> so the warrant's three years old? No, well, the warrant was last year. They put it out last February, and I just found out about it a month ago. But you've been clean for three for years? For three years, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Saying something. Yeah, I overdosed. I actually, I shouldn't even be alive. <laughs> I really shouldn't. And that's what uh -huh. did it? That's what made you change your life around? Right? Yeah. My mom found me almost dead. I was like 90 pounds, prescription pills. I took anything. I got addicted to them after this car accident I was in, and then it led to drugs. I did a lot of bad things to myself, and no one should be doing that to themselves, really. You know? <laughs> OK. Hey, what's the story with Crystal? Um, we stopped Crystal. We conducted a, a vehicle stop. She had expired plates, and she had a fugitive warrant out of Michigan. And she's going on to jail for uh, her fugitive warrant. How was her attitude with you? This good. Whole time? It's been yeah. good? Has yeah. it been positive, like she's in, in here? Yeah, she's a, a singer and wants to be a singer and was supposedly going to American Idol or something like that, so. Did you sing with her? We no, I didn't it. sing with her. But I asked her <laughs> if she played guitar. Yeah, well, she's a singer, too, so. Yeah, oh, we, did, okay. we, did, we did not do a duet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Crystal, what's the song that you love singing? Or something that you sing all the time? What's your favorite? I sing Bleeding Love a lot. <laughs> do that one. I love Leona. Something happened for the very first time with you. My heart melted to the ground, found something true. You caught me open and I. Oh, he wants to sing too. Very impressive. <laughs> I don't See? know how I sound, I just sing. No, you're too good. And listen, you, you finally started singing. I think you made everybody in this room feel better. <laughs> I think she's got a career in singing instead of being locked up in Vegas jail. She said that's what turned her life around. She used to do drugs. She has a... Used to do drugs? She has a felony warrant. That's what she's here for three years ago, for her drugs. Well, maybe she'll get that taken care of, and we'll see her on American Idol. I think that's what her hope was. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to us, all right, so we can get you through this process. What's your first name? Shana. Shana? All right. Stop wiggling. <laughs> I'm not wiggling. You're pushing me up, sweetheart. Don't you get it? I love to it like in the tree. You do? Yes, I do. I wish I could do that. Don't fling your hair in my face, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. I did that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. How long have you been doing drugs, ma'am? As long as you guys have been telling me to do drugs. Oh. That's interesting. These, ma'am. These are my wedding rings. Give her the hand, see if she'll get them off. Ring! The ring! My ring! I will take them off for you. You break my arm! Okay, officer. Please don't hurt my arm. All the wrong people, all the wrong reasons, do nothing for the police. Sam, don't with nobody, but you know this so! I love you, people. I know it. See what they're doing back here? Oh, yeah! Break me. Go ahead and do it. Like it's done before. Like, yes. now. Can I pull the cuffs on my back? 
restraint chair for the next couple of hours until she calms down. I will kill you. Get the hell away from me. Can you tell us what the deal was? Uh, the detail stated that there was a white female walking down the street uh, yelling and arguing at other subjects. But we found out she had a warrant. Uh, she started resisting, uh, trying to kick us and trip us. Okay. Luckily, there was uh, a few officers there. It took about four of us to uh, place her in handcuffs. All right. Uh, and properly secure her, but we'll definitely be charging her for obstruction. Okay, thanks. Put All I want to do is put stuff in a shoe. Looks like she had two bench warrants for unlawful acts of financial responsibility and then uh, resisting a police officer, so her bail for that is $1,000. So if she doesn't have bail money, she'll be here a few days. Shana, you have one hour left. You said that an hour ago. Got about 50 minutes. They're gonna take you out of the chair, see how you act. It always seems like I fight and I cry and nothing makes sense anymore. Hey, Sarge, are we wheeling her all the way over there to TR before we take her out of the chair? Yeah, we'll take her okay. out the walk. We're just gonna take her down to the cells we have over on the TR side. So take her out of the chair and give her a little uh, time to cool off sticks. a little bit more. And I remember what I said, Sheena, okay? You're gonna follow all our directions. You'll be able to get in here. Lay down. No, They're I know you're petting me. God damn it! Shayna, calm down. Yeah, we're trying to take them off. Okay, we're trying to get you out of the chair. I understand that, okay? Then you need to calm down, because all this Woo! bucking around a kick is not going to help. Stand now up. slowly stand up. Okay, don't let the chair! They'll get the cuffs off, and you can have a seat on the bench and sleep for a little bit. Keep your feet down. Let go of my goddamn Hey, Put on the chair. No! 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 Please, please, you please. Let's get her, get her off the bench. Yeah, stick her back in the chair. Step back a little bit. You got a mask? Lap belt. Okay. Got that one? Yep. Shanna. Just sit back and take a deep breath. There you go. Okay. You get checked out, Fields? Yeah. Rubio, oh, hit me. Relax. Relax. All right, take her back over there. I did. We got her in the room. She turned around, took a swing at the officers, so I had to restrain her and uh, put her back in the chair. I took her back over and give her another chance to cool off. She's in for another two hours. We'll uh, reassess her and see how she does. We're going to try this all over again. And I'm going to take the handcuffs off you. You're going to have to listen to me. And if you do that, you're going to be fine, OK? OK, let's put these on. Okay. Part of the shotgun. Stand up. There we go. Okay, off comes the mask. Face forward. Face forward now. Walk in. Step in. Walk in. Come on. All Step in. in the back. All you need there to do is go. just go lay down on the bench and try to sleep it off. All right. All right, just like yeah. OK. okay. You're in. You're in. Let's go have a seat. You got a chow coming about an hour, and you get up, get something to eat. It might help out, but for now, just sleep it off. OK? All right. So Shannon was removed from the restraint chair uh, without incident this time. Hopefully, in an hour or two, she gets some food, she goes to sleep, and uh, she'll be a different person in the morning. Release your hand, put it across your chest, all right? 
Pero across the head, the chest, the eyes. Across the chest, going slowly. Where you want it, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Sensitive. Have a seat on that chair right there. <laughs> Go ahead and take your hoodie off. All right, but the the, the mask might come off down. as well. That's fine. All right. Hey, have you heard the penis enlargement? Um, um. Uh, <laughs> take the rings off your fingers. Come here. Um, uh, the joke was I asked the nurse for the penis enlargement pill. And she told me, hey, you know what? We can't help you out with that type of around here. You know, and I was like, hey, pero, hey. You're supposed to be all medical informed. And all. Right, sir, open your mouth. Pull your cheeks apart. Why this way? <laughs> which your, ones? Which pull your cheeks you? apart in your mouth. Ah. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> now pull it down. Sir, listen to what we're telling you. Pull your lip down so we can look inside your mouth. Pull it down further. Repeat left traffic. All right, he's not falling. You start following direction, you understand? All right, all right, all right. We're not joking. OK, OK, OK. When you start listening and following the structure, you're not going to make it in here. I'm so trying to. Up. Walk this way. Follow instructions. Let's go. What's your last name, sir? Huh? Camera's on. Your name. Well, what's your, what's your last name? name? My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shake. Follow instructions. Separate your feet. Grab a seat, sir. Take off your sandals. Hey, Sergeant, what am I going in here for? Being a little disruptive. For rules? Yeah, I'm just sit in here and uh, sleep it off. Good, side step to the right, bud. Walk straight in, keep walking all the way to that wall. We'll let him sleep it off. He needs to sleep it off for a little bit, get all that disruption out of him. What are you hitting the door for? I think you're injured. I see a little bit of blood on the window. Let me see your hand. Oh, he's cleaning your hand. That's nice. Tell him thank you. What's the matter with you? What have you been drinking? I haven't been drinking anything. That's what the cops are Now, I just want to know. You don't need to bang on the window, OK? All right. Hey, here's my hand. You've been punching the window. You got a little, like, Cut yourself a little bit. You want to have medical look at your hand? Please, ma'am. Yeah, we will. We'll bring him over here. You just got to give me a minute. What you been drinking, then? Man, I drank a few of them and a few of these. And... What are them and these? Well, you see, it was only because I didn't pee in the cop car. Because peeing in the cop car would have included me, like, Hey, let's back up right? before the police car. What what did you do to get arrested? They told me you got spit on and you spit there. Did you spit on so someone? So I was like, well, spitty, spitty. And, and you know, I spit there. That's very disrespectful. When somebody spits at you, you got to spit. No, you don't. Yes, you do. That's, you're very confused. Man. So you're charged with disorderly conduct, which is a misdemeanor. It's not a big deal, OK? So here's the deal. If you can um, continue to be quiet, sleep off your buzz, we'll get you processed and you get out of here on an, on an OR, OK? All right, does that, does that sound fair? Hey, I, I did something. You did what? So uh, What? Is that for me? Oh, uh, yeah. You but made that, or did he make that? I made that. You made me a rose. That's very nice. Thank yeah, but you. But it's made out of my, um, my booking sheet. Your what? Your booking sheet? Yeah. OK, so when you leave, you need to take that rose with you because it has your information on it, OK? Well, thanks for making me the flower. Sleep off the rest of your buzz, and then you'll have breakfast. My, my, it's already gone. It's gone? What were you drinking? Beer. You took something else, too, besides alcohol. Yeah, you did, because that was more than beer, That how you were acting. The, I gotcha. The, I was, uh, man, I smoked some weed. I just got I just got out of city jail. Yeah, so you were celebrating? Kinda. Yeah. Okay, well it ended I'm... you ended up back in here. Good night. He's sobering up. We'll get him fed, pull him out, get him processed. Hopefully he'll be out of custody in a few hours and he'll go on about his way.
I'm sure you got my permission for this. You know how I got your permission? You came to jail. Yeah, well. Right? Put your hands back on your head. Put your hands on your head. Stop doing all this extra you. movement. Excuse me. Have a seat in front of you. Put my hands back on my head? No, I just said have a seat. I'm just teasing. Stop here. talking. Put your hands down. Stick your thumb inside the waistband of your pants and run it back and forth. Back and forth. Run your thumb. I didn't say unbutton your pants. Well, Did I, I say expose yourself? I don't know what you want, all right? If you're not sure, ask me. Go and stand up and turn around. Put your hands on your hands. Oh, head. Jesus freaking Christ. Jesus and Christ have nothing to do with what I'm telling no. you. Yeah. Turn around and put your hands on your head. Turn around and put your hands on your head. I heard you the first time. Well, listen Why to what I'm telling you. This? You understand? Got it. Put your hands on the back of your head. You don't understand English or what? What's the issue? Just try to relax and get you through the process. Well, if you made it clear. Just follow the simple instructions, sir. I'm trying. Bring your right hand down. That's the left hand. Yeah, I was talking to you. Simple instructions, right? But that's why there. I added you. Yeah, yeah that's why I get my ass down. Yeah. Step over here and go through that door right there. Go to your left. Right here. Right here. Hey, right here. What's the story of this guy? He had rear-ended another vehicle, sent that person to the hospital. And he says, I've only had two drinks tonight. He's a little bit over two drinks, that's for sure. What was he like out there? Uh, jokester. jokester. Oh, jokester. I thought I heard a commotion when you came in. Just giggling. Just having you were fun. giggling? The arresting officer and we laughed all the freaking way down he here. He giggled with you? Yeah, of course. I work with strippers. Been doing it for five years. If I don't have a sense of humor, you gotta have a sense I, of humor. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna lose it. I mean, we're with strippers too, but it's a different yeah, environment. It's just, uh, you know. So, what is your job with the strippers? What do you do? I am this guy. Oh, you're security? the security. Yeah. You the security? Yep. I take care of every dollar that goes in that club, every dollar that goes out of that club. So you're just a happy fella. Well, that's what everybody thinks that uh, you know, but. You, you play around with the nighty teenagers every night. See how happy you we are. You understand that. It's not necessary. All right? <laughs> it's not Everybody 90 teenagers, Everybody thinks I got the though. greatest job on the planet, but uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you think about it. Well, how much did you drink tonight? I had about four glasses of red wine. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me get this right. At first, it was two, but now it's doubled. Well, what yeah. What is it? I'm, why lie? So you sure it's not six? No, it was 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was two bottles. <laughs> oh, see. Yeah. Uh, verified. Come on now. OK. So it goes to two to four to five to two bottles. Could you? Yeah, your nose is getting longer as you speak. And maybe I should come down here more often. Oh, <laughs> that'll help. You are gorgeous, though. Thank you. Well, of course. What about me? You? You're handsome, okay. but she's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> so when your paperwork comes up, I'll go over it with you. We'll get you through the process. Find out how long you're going to be staying with us. All right. All right. Sound All good? Right. Yeah. Just hang out there like you're doing. OK. And uh, your phone number? <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> See you later. Just He's going to help you with your paperwork. <laughs> Rick, come on back. Sir, I can't talk you out of uh, your profession. Sir, you have beer goggles on right now. You don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> right thumb, Rick, right here. <laughs> With a face like that, baby girl, you don't have to be 18 to be all dude. Yeah, step over here. You'd be charged with DUI accident. OK, you left about 50-some feet of skid before you struck that vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And you sent that lady to the hospital. And she's walking around happy as hell and bugging yeah. about, yeah, I How know. How could the accident have been prevented? You got to take care of your problem. Yeah, I know. All righty. All right. That's well, my problem right there. All right. Yeah. Look, have a seat right there, Steve. Yeah, I need this problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a character. I mean, it's nice to have him come in and have a good attitude and be a little more fun lightening the mood, but he's lucky he didn't kill somebody. He 
eat food, and God bless. He's out there with the pirate hat and the man's satchel purse. It looks like it does smoke a little marijuana. He's got a green beret. White shirt. Oh, turn around, face instruction. So what's with the pirate hat in your property? That's for my dog. I okay. make money. It makes two, three hundred dollars a day. Your dog does. Sure does. It's my money maker. So what's your dog's name? Shadow. Shadow. Real good dog. I saw your sign there. So you and your dog uh, stand at the streets and your dog uh, collects the cash for you, then, huh? No, I do. But you know, she. Well, of course, she's you know the one I mean. doing all the work, guys. People love these dog lovers, you know. You can put your shirt on now. Do you think your dog is actually working the magic for you out there? Or? Of course. It's all it's all about training the dog, too. Yeah. You know? she's all right. I think people are a little more fond to respond to the animals than that. Uh, well, of course. I don't do it for the money. I don't, I don't eat money. Food and clothes. I mean, yeah. I can sleep anywhere. Want to come over here? High traffic area, right? Yeah, of course. Hang out with hey, Nothing else. I don't hang out with the bombs. I hang out with rich people, millionaires. All right, sir. You're going to come up here and sign for your property. That's including that green beret that you had. The uh, Who wears the green beret? Me. OK. All right, now that you're here, where's your dog at? My son's got it. Your son's got it? Yeah. Does your son live in here in town, too, or does he? Hang out on the street with you, or? No. No, no they, got, they live. They got places, right? Oh, that's good. I like being that's, homeless. Uh, that's for you, Webb. Oh, I'm sorry. Grab that. I like being homeless. It's fun. You just go where you want to do what you want to do. All the no cops stress. leave you alone. We're done here. OK, sir. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to go in the next room. We're going to have a seat in the second row for a chair. It has a two on it. The medical's going to call you up next. So what's uh, Gregory's story? Uh, we got a call of a uh, family disturbance with Gregory. Mm -hmm. I guess he went to his uh, ex-wife's house, wanted to uh, retrieve some property. Um, came up that he liked to fight the police. He was uh, breaking into the house. So we rolled up, and he was already out of the house. We made contact with him and uh, checked him out, and he had a warrant out of California. Yeah, no physical contact or anything with you guys? No, no, it was good. Real compliant with us. Yeah. Was, was his dog with him? His dog was with him. He dresses it up in a pirate hat. And he wears the green beret with the four stars. He wears the green beret with the four stars, Kind of a yeah. unique story. Yeah, apparently he uh, tried to be a uh, helicopter pilot in oh, Vietnam, yeah. but they, uh, for some reason, wouldn't accept him. I can't figure out why. Well, thank you. Anytime. Right, you bet. Gregory, come on up here, sir. So what are your plans when you get out of here? Going to uh, Fort, uh, Fort Myers, Florida for a month. Uh college girl. All right, Gregory, come on up here, sir. Have you signed some paperwork real quick? You just came in with no cash. I'm going to sign right here. All right, Gregory, here's what you've been booked for. You're a fugitive from another state, OK? Uh, the original charge was weapon offense. You know anything about that? Mm, I don't know. Terrorist threat time beat your ass. Making terrorist threats? You're probably going to be held here without bail, OK? I, I don't know. Until they contact the uh, agency out of state to see if they're going to extradite or not, all right? I don't, I don't so you know understand your this. charges, is that correct? Yep. All right, here's a copy of your charges. You gonna come this way, Gregory? So in the meantime, your son is watching your dog, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so he's in good hands? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Can I get a drink of water? Yep, you have a water fountain up here, but when you have a seat, have a seat on the left-hand side of the room. Go have a drink of water and have a seat in the first three rows. Gregory came in as a fugitive from California. He said that he uses his dog as a prop uh, to panhandle money on the streets. We don't see that too often around Vegas. We do get a lot of panhandlers. But uh, if they do not choose to extradite him, we'll turn him loose and be back on the street with his dog. No, you're not. In, you're not in here for the warrant. You're not in here for the warrant. That's you're in here why for the they citation. said they. Nope. They said they wouldn't have right here. me if it wasn't for the Turn warrant. Turn around, face that way. Spread your feet out. He's here for uh, obstructing a uh, sidewalk. A sidewalk. He's uh, down on the strip on the bridge. And... I had a very bad week. I came here. I have a house in New Mexico. I told you guys that. I was never here in 2012 when the original warrant allegedly happened. Honestly, dude, get a hold of your crew. Maybe you'll get some stripes. I don't Seriously, want stripes. This is bull. <laughs> Turn around here. Turn around, face that way, spread your feet out. You're gonna become an unclass two real soon. Real quick. You look like you're about to break my hand for no, no reason. Yeah, you're turning around and waving that off, sir. Oh, wow. Are you I'm hiding sorry something? I turned around. No, I'm not. How do we know that? I don't know. Search my ass. Look, there's no call for our left. This right? is no call for yep. this. He's bending yep. my bone into a yep. chicken. I'm bone. gonna hold you right here. You're gonna turn around. I'm gonna control you. Yeah, you are. 
Dude, with the stop mandolin. breaking my hand. See? Stop moving on me. You understand Ow! that? Do you understand that? Ow! Do you understand that? Ow! Stop! Stop turning Stand toward still. you. Stop! 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 Oh my god, dude. Put your hand down your side there. Christopher, how are you doing? Please tell me what crime I committed. Listen, this is what's called a class two. It's a ticket, OK? If you sign this ticket and calm down, we'll get you out of here in a couple hours. That's a long time, man. I'm far away from okay. where I need to Listen, be. Listen, the alternative is I rip this up and you stay here for the weekend. I'll sign it. OK. Oh, that's half of it. The other half is you comply with what we need to get done. OK. okay. I can't wait till Jesus comes Amen back. All right, no. we're, we're ready for it, up. believe me. Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up off your feet. Put these slippers on. There you go. We didn't bring you in here, but we don't need the attitude in here either. You be respectful to us, and we'll be respectful to you. All right? Come on over here. You're going to see the nurse over here. Let them know any medical problems you have or any medications you take. What's going on with uh, Christopher? Well, Christopher was uh, up on the bridge uh, New York, New York, uh, pretty much blocking pedestrians from walking. Uh, sanitation workers from the county came by, trying to clean up the bridge. They refused to move from them. Um, pretty much nobody could get around. Uh, an officer came out, asked to move, wouldn't move. So uh, they class two him for the obstructing sidewalk. And He's been warned before and multiple arrests for the same things. Yeah. Christopher was just here a couple days ago, so I'm thinking he thinks that it's still the same case. Cases are running together. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm okay, dude. I've been okay. fine. I guess they brought you in because you wouldn't get out of the way for the street sweepers or something? Um, that's totally false, but fine. This is the honest to God's truth. What I was informed is that somebody had beat up a child molester, and there was a puddle of dried up blood where we were sitting, and there were several people who had already gathered there. But half an hour ago, everything's on camera. Nobody obviously wanted to charge anyone. They walked away, they're still alive. You know, like, nobody refused to move out of the way for the street sweeper at all, period. That would be a completely dickhead move, and I am not a dickhead. The reason that I got arrested again is for a ticket that happened when I had never been to Nevada. So when you got arrested a couple days ago? It was for that, and now I'm arrested again because I was sitting on the sidewalk when they ran my name, which I gladly gave to them. They were like, oh, you got failures to appear, and they arrested me. It's just I've so never gotten a ticket deal. for jaywalking in Nevada ever, but I've been to jail for one twice. All right, so you're going to be cool. We get you through this process and get you out of here? Definitely. OK, because it's just going to be a couple hours. Cool. OK, I don't want to have to keep you here for the weekend, so you need to lay low. And... I'll try my best to figure it out. OK. I'm a murderer all of a sudden. No. No, Two days ago, you got a charge sheet, and you waited around for the whole process yes. to get out of here? Sucked. Today? You're just getting a ticket. Awesome. Remember, Jesus you act gonna up. Remember that you're nice. If you act up, the sergeant can take this away from you. I know y'all think I'm like a fanatic Christian or something, but I'm not. I'm actually an alien from Arcturus, and that's in the Boots constellation. And if you look that up, you'll figure it out. There's no such thing as no constellation. The Boots constellation? You're tripping. There's billions of stars. I could make up a Xavier Yavapa constellation. Lord, exists. your boys. Sorry that happened, bro. I would be bitter if not your bro neither. We're not related. Yeah. Fine. We just came from the same big bang, but when Christ comes back, he'll explain it all. Come here, young man. Okay, don't sit in the last two rows. Sit anywhere else there. As soon as they print you over there, you're going to release it. So be cool while you're out here. He ain't going to make it. This is the second time in here in three days. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, turn it, come here. For what? Turn and face this way. What are men arrested for? I don't know. Why are you people harassing me? Here, sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit. I asked her an answer. You want to answer that? Sit down. I don't know. You don't know why you're harassing me? Harassing you? No. Yeah, I'm already I'm already enrolled in law school. I got this handled. I don't know about probable cause, cause of action, 
Do you know what probable cause of action even means? No, you don't. Can I explain something? No, no. You're not my attorney. You I are just, not the I prosecutor. Just want to give you some You're advice. not the prosecutor. Are you going to school for a while? What crime did I commit? Are you going to school what for a while? What crime did I commit? I don't know yet. I don't, I don't no, know. No, no, because I didn't. But think of something. But think about Make a stick. The fact that you're under arrest. What? What crime okay. did I commit? I'm going to just. When you're ready to listen, I'll explain it to you. Hey, come on, well, let's go see medical. Come on. Woman. All medical? Stand up. You're, you're not. You're not even Wall Street, money sir. I have. Just walk. You're not uh, listening. Great. You have nothing. I have broken the law. What law did I break? Trespass. I have a key to the hotel where I'm Sir, trespass. what's your first name? Fred. Do you drink alcohol? I did at, at Harrah's. So today then, right? Yeah, I was at Harrah's. All right, uh, any drugs? No, 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 no. Beautiful. You can have this. Come on, brother. Let's go this way. What were you charged with? Trespass. For what? Come trespass? behind you. Obviously, he's had way too much to drink tonight. And apparently, he got trespass no, off of Harrah's. You don't know what I'm being charged with yet? Trespass. Where? Harrah's Hotel, sir. Harrah's Hotel. Have, have, have a seat, sir. Where I have a, a key? Have a seat, Stay seated. That's it. What am I charging? Don't get up. You've been told five times already. Oh. Sit down. All right. Stand up. They told me to go Stand up. Stand up. I don't know why you cannot follow simple instructions. He told me to stand away from there. No. Relax. Walk. Don't resist. Just walk. How? How? You got the rope. Break right. No right, one's right, right, breaking right. your wrist. No, we tried to give a chance, and apparently she's no, hanging head. No, way too much to drink. He refuses to listen to any instruction whatsoever. Yes, now he's going to go to the side cell. So. Look at my arm. If you would just walk like you're supposed to. I'm trying to walk. But you're not. What are you talking about? Stop. I made this very clear to you, sir. I've done nothing. This is your one chance to sit here and calm I have not committed a crime. Am I yelling at you? Why are you yelling at me? Ow! Relax. I have horror on my arm! I have horror on my arm! Please come! Turn your leg up again. Ow. Keep your feet on the floor. Ow! Ow! Oh, God! I'm not resisting. I'm not yelling. I'm not resisting. It hurts! You are. Um, Sit hurts. down. Sit down. Oh, my God! Sit down. Sit down. Ow! Keep your feet flat. Dude, my arm is broken. Take my family. Take a look down please. No. I live in Torrance. I am running a room here. Dude, I have a room and I paid for my room. You're in this chair because you don't know how to behave. So you're going to spend two hours in this chair. And if you learn to behave, and we, we see you actually trying to behave, then we'll take you out. I'm but you're, you're, how many times have I told you, personally told you, what you're arrested for? I was really trying to inquire. Are you inquire. capable of comprehending basic speech? Apparently, I just wanted to piss you off. Can you can you comprehend basic yes. speech? What were you arrested for? You said it was for um a, for a trespass. Trespass. Okay, you're you said you're in law school, aren't you? Are I you have, in law school? I am. Are you in law school? I'm taking. I'm taking. Are you in law school? Classes. Yes. So my understanding. As a, as a private property owner, do what I have. What I have. What I have the right to to keep people like you off of my property. As somebody who owns a property, they have the right to keep people like you yes. who don't know how to handle their alcohol right. off their property. Right. So they, they read you a formal trespass, and you can, and you continue to come on oh, their that property. Right? Formal trespass, sir. You were formally trespassed because you wouldn't be here. That's probable cause. You ready to come out of the chair, man? Yes. OK, we're going to give you a chance. We're going to put you over in another cell, give you a chance to kind of calm down a little bit, and then we'll get you out through the process, all right? It's one thing at a time, all right? Stay quiet for a little bit, and we'll pull you back out. I don't want to come back here ever again. Walk straight in. Get out your elbows. Tuck your elbows in. Walk to that white wall. Get out your elbows. Walk to that white wall. Fred's a lot better now than he was when he first came in. Seems like the alcohol is wearing off, so he'll probably be out in a little bit. We'll get him back in the system. Get him rolling, hopefully get him out of here. Sir? What did they bring you in here for? I thought it would be What for? I don't know how to word that. It couldn't have been possession of Vehicle. Stolen vehicle? Uh, yeah. I have can... you taken anything tonight? Yeah. Uh... Okay, what are you on right now so I know? A lot of things. Sit down. 
Wait, cool. So really, uh, Deluxe. Xanax, crystal meth, and heroin. All that tonight? Uh, every day. Hand me your jacket. Are you feeling okay right now? I'm cold. I'm That's it? That's your only complaint right now? Oh, no, I haven't ate, but I, I just bought food. I had fresh chicken wings. Did they, you eat your chicken wings? They didn't let me. That's a damn shame. Let me see your hair accessories, please. Hair accessories? Oh, I was like, oh, that man. Okay, I'm sorry. What would it be like to be in your head right now? I, I took some Xanax. I don't take Xanax. And um, my friend was going to kill himself because he wasn't with his girl. And, uh, well, I told him, you know, if you're going to do this, then I'm going to take half of it. Wow. You know? But it was so he didn't kill himself on him, you know? You did it so you saved his life by taking that Xanny bar and a half? Um, well, Is that what I understand? Pretty yeah, much, yeah, because if you would have took not even a whole, not even a whole half of a half of a half more, then yeah, he would have That's a lot died. of halves. Can you stand up? Can you put your hands behind your head? Yes. Don't play with your hair, just set them on top of your head. Yeah, I was. I was playing with my hair, I was brushing it. I mean, I know you wouldn't brush your hair how I did. Well, I mean, that's fine. you're and a real the, woman. And, and there's a time and place for that, though. Right now, it's not it. Come on over here. I want you to sign right here for your property. How's it going inside there? Inside where? Your head. No disrespect, I'm sorry, I need Xanax. Otherwise, see what it took, what you took, and what I took. Is that your last? Oh, we're still going. Okay, we're still signing. Aaron, come on. Walk with me. He's never took them before, you know what I mean? Right. Right over here. And he was taking them and trying to kill himself because his little girlfriend he was in love with. Right here. This is Aaron. Because I knew I wouldn't matter. Yes, what's your last thing? What happened? Last thing. I don't know exactly what she's on or how she usually handles it, but at the rate she's going, I mean, it takes her two hours to watch 60 minutes. Are you taking medication at all, Miss? Legally or illegally? Apparently, once we got in here, she livened up, but uh, she's pretty quiet on the way here. Mm -hmm. She's just the rest of her people warrant. How did you find her? They called us. She was apparently disoriented in front of the Water. business, panhandling, and got the attention of us. So the warrant was for possession of stolen vehicle. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now, what she was trying to tell me. Aaron, come on. I was just seeing if there was one here, like there was one in the city. Why do you need a sergeant? Because I'm pretty sure he could give me some crackers or something. A sergeant? You think a sergeant has crackers? No, I'm saying he could make this job do something about some kind of crackers. Right? And why would he help you out with that? Okay. Turn and face that direction. Okay. Turn and face that direction. You can physically turn your body and still stay in the box. Hold still. Don't move. I guess I am dumb enough that you have to speak yet. I did word. not talk to you like you were dumb. Can you oh. straighten out your head? Okay, that's like the opposite of straightening out your head. Turn your body to the right. The whole thing, right? The whole thing. Erin, how many times have you been here? I think when I was 18 once, and then, well, and then, uh... Just give me a, a, an estimate. How many times do you think you've been here? No, let me give you the right answer. Uh... Okay, Aaron, you've been here 16 times. Maybe five. I think you should lighten up on your uh, drug use. Well, I should quit my drug use. Well, that's... I was talking about baby steps, but yeah, you should. You're right. I've been thinking about baby steps. Tonight was not baby steps. And I understand you didn't want to take all that Xanax, but you had to. Uh, yes. At any time, did you think, maybe I should tell him don't take Xanax bars? I did. I couldn't stop him. That you could not when stop I was him. like, OK, well, thought if I say, hey, well, I'm taking some too, then that let, makes it half less that he will ingest. Oh, OK, that makes more sense now. Come on, Aaron. Here's your paperwork, OK? There's your felony bench warrant that you were talking about. That's why you're here, but you know that. Go have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, you raise your hand. Erin, you got to actually walk with your feet that okay, way. But can I ask you a question again? Can you ask a little faster? No, not right now, so I guess I won't. Thank you, Erin. Uh, she's come down a lot since she first came in, but she's also getting a little more emotional, getting a little angry now. Part of the process of detoxing, so she's gonna, especially if she's been doing heroin, she's going to have a rough time in here. Oh, were you just sleeping? 
Yeah, man, uh, I was waiting for somebody else, and the gold dude took off to, I don't know what, what he was doing, but, uh... What guy? The gold man. The gold guy? Yeah, he's been in here before. So yeah, you guys he's work kind together? Of, he's kind of... Nah, I just started working with him. You just started working together? Yeah. And uh, do you just, like... I'm wondering, am I gonna get my money back, dude? Because, uh... The, the officer that, that woke me up and was being rude and stuff, he he uh he had my money. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna get that back. If that's in if that's in my property report. Money? It was like sixty bucks. It was okay. in my property report though. Let me let me talk to the arresting officer about your money situation and I'll explain everything to you, okay? All right. Okay. Sir, take a seat right here. Your officer was very, very rude, he disrespected me. And so like what I told him was like, dude, you're a ass. The officer issued you a ticket, okay? You're gonna sign the ticket, you're gonna go through the process, and then we'll release you. That's okay? fine. The $60, it could be in your belongings, but we don't have it. Fine. Okay? All right, you know what? Honestly, you think that your officer, your officer took it? You know what I mean? Like, you're just Please that. stand up, we're gonna go see the medical staff at this time. I'm done with you. We can go see the medical staff. I can't even finish talking to you, huh? No. Well, well, well that, that's what it is, though. I'm just talking to you. We're just a number we're we're just number the evidence yeah. Just a number to you guys, huh? Take a seat over there and roll number two from your chair. Did you just bring in the guy with the silver paint on? Yeah. He was not disgruntled with you? Not with me, with the officers that arrested him. He, he thought the officers had, had basically tapped him on the head to wake him up. But when the it was his buddy who was tapping him on the head. Okay. Was that the performer that's all dressed in gold there? Yeah. He's upset at the officers for arresting him for sleeping. He had some nice words to say to the officers. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Eduardo, what brings you to jail here today? To be honest, I kind of blacked out after. You kind of blacked out? Yeah, when I was over there, I blacked out. I forgot what happened. So where were you? I was in a circus circus. I was coming back. I was looking for my wife, my wife, uh, my wife and her, her family. Who do you think beat you up? Honestly, I forgot. You don't know? No, I forgot. I'm trying. To, I was, I'm trying to remember right now. Right. Take a seat right there. Let me see your hands there. Hey, you don't know why you came to jail today? No, yeah, it was for a battery. Battery. I said about me and my wife. All I remember is like her uncle holding me, and then everybody's I don't know going crazy in there. Was it a family reunion? Yeah, it was a family, yeah. yeah. Oh. And you were at the hospital? Yeah, I was at the hospital, yeah. Okay. Let's go out of here and see the medical staff. Let's go out to row two, chair number two. The medical staff will be seated. I have a seat in my uh, first row. Sir? Officer Lopez, do you know who beat him up there? From what I, I ascertained was uh, his, his fiance got him in the eye, but I guess she took more of the the, the fight. She, she basically has a lot of injuries to herself, too. OK. What happened to you? Oh, man, I, I, I just went to my room, and I don't know where, boom. I don't know, I guess they, they told me that I, got, I had a confrontation with my wife. Boom, I got hit. Yeah? <laughs> I got <it. laughs> So your wife beat your ass up? I guess, I guess she did. <laughs> she <laughs> you up, bro. Yeah, I've been kid. there before. Yeah, yeah. Daniel. Come on down here. Let's get your picture taken. That's All right, it. That's it. All right man. Have a nice day. Enjoy, bro. Stop getting fights, man. No, no. Yeah, no, no more fights. Don't behave now. <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll see you out there. All right, go right, Hector, come on up here. I need one signature from you. Yeah. OK, but you're charged with battery domestic violence. Let's go out to the next room. If you have any questions while you're out here, raise your hand. Hey, right, first two rows. Hector seems pretty nonchalant about what he's being charged with. I don't think he understands the seriousness of his charges. Daniel, left hand side. This is Daniel's first arrest here for vagrancy. He'll be out of here uh, real soon, and he'll be out there entertaining the tourists of Las Vegas. Leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my own.